やっぱりできないってなるかもしれないけど私も誰かを好きになってみたいって I can thoroughly say with all my soul, with all my heart, that I am so glad that we are getting anime like a condition called love. The past few seasons, last season was a sign of affection, is we're getting these, these anime that are, 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 are drama and niche and kind of take an interesting take on, on romance or shoujo. And it's really cool to 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 witness because I think it's always existed. Okay, it's existed since I can remember. Probably like I was like the mid two thousands, like you know, like two thousand five, two thousand six. Uh, it kind of I started saw see like an uptick uh, for this type of anime. And really, I think you know during like my college years, it's not necessarily that it was an uptick in anime. It was an uptick in anime coming west. I think these anime have always existed and a lot of them have been backtracked, you know, but I am so glad that we are now in this renaissance of romance shoujo type anime that, that are really good too because I am just so attracted to shows like A Condition Called Love. Last season, one of my favorite anime of the season was A Sign of Affection. And if I probably put my nog into it, there's probably a few more that I could go and mention. But I love unique takes on this genre and I love unique takes on this kind of like this anime style here. But this one basically follows uh, Hotaru or Hinase, H H Hotaru Hinase. And she meets this young boy named Hana Nanoi. I'm never going to be able to say this dude's name. Uh, Hana Nao. Uh, she meets this boy called H. And uh, H is the most popular dude, dude in school. Like, he is, you know, dating left and right. But he's a unique character as he's trying to find love. And this story is about these two characters who they both don't quite understand what love is. And one is desperately seeking it. And the other's convinced that they, they will never find it even if they started looking. And you have these two opposites, and that's why this works. You have these two opposites that are attracting to each other. And uh, Hataru keeps talking about H as he's this enigma. And really, his version of love is find somebody that sparks something in him and then throw himself body and being at this person. And from Hotaro's uh, sense of, of, of view, and it could be from her mother because we saw a, a flashback, it's she's convinced that love is just not for her. And I think we've all met somebody. And if you haven't, you maybe you will. But I think for the most part, we've all met somebody who is like, yeah, that whole love thing just couldn't be me. And it's always interesting to see them later down the line, years later, like it always finds them because that's kind of the nature of human beings is we're meant to be with someone else. We're meant to uh, procreate, you know, at, at its biology, but we're, we're meant to partner and, and you're meant to be body and soul with somebody. And, you know, that the timeline of which it happens is different for everybody. So it could be high school. It could be college. It could be. Uh, in your adulthood, it could be in your 40s, 50s, shit. There's people in elderly homes that find their soul partner, albeit late. So I just find it so cool. And again, I'm just, and I use the word that I'm attracted to shows like this, especially when they're nailing what they're trying to do. With the understanding, with the caveat that this isn't for everybody, and a lot of people don't really like shows like this, and I completely understand. I think that if you're not interested in this kind of show, I think you probably know it based on just the picture, you know, kind of like the logo or like the 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 splash art for this show. I think you know immediately. And then all you have to do is read a little bit of the synopsis and see what kind of um, categories, you know, the anime is in. It's in drama and romance and shoujo. I can definitely tell you with all my body and soul, if you love those those genres of anime, I think we found a hit. I think we found a gem here. But if you don't, I don't think this show is going to be like the one to get you into it. It's either you like it or you don't. And uh, again, I think maybe if this is your first blush, if this is your first try with a show like this, then yeah, this could be the one. You know what I mean? Uh, I could probably recommend other ones that maybe have some more comedy, like My Love Story or something like that, that is similar, but has a, a, a it's funnier, you know, kind of that it could be like your, your, uh, what do they call it? Like you, you go on like your drug binge, it could be like your, 
your inside drug to kind of get your addiction started, you know? Uh, but regardless, I love the I love what this show is doing. I love the premise of it. I love that it's two opposites that are attracting. I love that it's two people who are going to learn love, and they're both going to find it and do it differently, and that's what's going to bring them together. I love the fact that it is the most popular boy, but then the fact is that she, like uh, Hinata, Hitaru, Hinase, whatever, she's not unpopular. She's just not, like, super popular. She's not the prettiest. She's not ugly. She's just, you know, a, she's probably conventionally pretty, but not like, you know, a 10. She's probably like a 7 or an 8, you know, probably a normal normal person pretty. Uh, and I love that, you know, it's these two people. So, so far, A Condition Called Love, I'm loving it. Uh, I understand why some may not. Let me know in the comments down below if you decided to give it a shot and if you liked it or not. Uh, and I also understand that episode one wasn't exactly setting the world on fire, but I think it showed us enough to say, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, you're going to come back. This is the gym, baby. Uh, so let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it, if you're going to watch it or you're not. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys next week for episode two. Peace out.